Today marks the first day in quarantine. We are very fortunate because Johnny's job is still in business. Mine, on the other hand, is shut down for not two weeks, not three, but eight weeks. I will just be taking you guys through all the fun and not so fun things I'll be doing these two months. Today, it's nice and sunny out and Johnny has off, so we're gonna drive over to Boulder and just um, hang out in the nature, be one with the birds, find some fun foothills and stuff to tool around. One more quick little update as to what's going on in Denver, Colorado. They just shut down the All Veil vale Resorts, so all the ski mountains in okay. for all of 2019 and 2020 season. That is a huge loss and it's very unfortunate. We are not happy about it, but I understand the need to do so. Okay, we are driving along and I don't know if you can really see, but it seriously looks like the mountains and the clouds switch places. We just pulled over um, at this quick little scenic overlook and you can see the mountains a lot better. It's really cool. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. Uh. Looks so whack. Whack, homie. Alright, let's do it. charge my camera before we went to Boulder. We ended up going to Batasso Preserve. We did a nice little three mile hike loop on this trail. So um, Johnny's birthday just passed a couple weeks ago and I got him this snowboard that was on sale. It was like $150 off and it just got in the mail today. Conveniently the same day that they close the mountains for the rest of the season. What you got there? What you get? Oh, oh my goodness. Mm. Open the board, I wanna see it. Chat. Mmm. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Look at that graphic! Mommy, thick! Dope. Okay, so dope. See the back. Well. Oh my god, I love it! Look at that detail. Look at it! Very dope. It is day three. Johnny is at work today. So I am left here to die. So far today, I just finished editing um, vlog 14. That's the one where I went, where I go to Florida. It is a crazy snowstorm today. So I can't even go outside to play. Yesterday, I went for a run outside um, because it was beautiful. It was like 70 degrees. So that was super nice. I have been drinking so much tea. I'll show you some of my favorites because they're so yummy. I usually get my teas from Trader Joe's. So I'm really taking this time to, you know, try to be healthy, um, drink a lot of tea, because I love tea. Here are some of my favorites that I have in my house right now. But every time I go, I try to limit myself to only buying two. Um, and I just kind of choose random ones that I think that like are good for you um, and that taste good. This is my new favorite one that I found. It is, this is what it looks like. And I guess, so it says it's a blend of mushrooms and herbs from stamina. It's immunity support, so that's a plus during this time. It tastes really good. It doesn't really taste like mushrooms. 
This is one of my favorites. Every time I'm, I run out, I buy another box. Um, it's Trader Joe's brand. Um, if I haven't mentioned before, I am so obsessed with Trader Joe's. It's the only grocery store I go to. Thank goodness there is one only 10 minutes away from us where we live in Denver. Um, so this one is ginger turmeric. It is so tasty. I always like to have at least one green tea. Um, this one is, is like the Yogi brand. It's super popular. I also like to have a Bentham tea. This is the one I have been drinking. I like this one because it has lavender in it. And I think it's a nice thing to have before you go to bed. Right now, I just finished drinking the shiitake mushroom one. I love the cute little sayings it has. This one says, this is actually probably one of my favorite that I've seen in a while. It says, the beauty of the soul is constant, continuous, and endless. So cute. It is like day four, I think, of being quarantined. Um, today we're gonna go hit up Trader Joe's. Probably do another liquor run because I already need more wine. Can't have too much wine during this time. Hi, mister. Are you excited to go to TJ's? TJ's, baby. Is that? What are you picking out? Put those back. He needs to be put on a leash. Yeah, that's right. Put it back. Put it back. We just got out of Trader Joe's and we basically got everything we wanted except for eggs and cleaning supplies. Um, apparently we went at a good time because the guy at the cash register said that this was like the least busy time to come. But yeah, it was a success. We got a few necessities and now we're going to hit the liquor store. Uh, wait, which one are we hitting? The one next to us? Um, bye TJ's. I love you so much. We just got home and I'll show you what we got from the liquor store real quick. This is my favorite beer ever, Kona Big Wave. If you haven't tried it, you should. Blue Moon Mango, because we just discovered them. I had no idea that there was mango. Mango's my favorite fruit. These are so tasty. It's an apricot blonde ale. They're local to Colorado. And then, not gonna lie, I got this wine for the label, because I thought it was cool. And this is a nice, like, refreshing fruity wine, and it's relatively cheap. I'll just show you a few things that we got from Trader Joe's. This is another one of my favorite teas. It's just like a detox cleansing blend, but it tastes so good. I've never tried this one before, so I got this one. Like I said the other day, I try to limit myself to only buying two every time I go to the grocery store. Johnny won on this one and he got these stupid muffins. He snuck them into the car. I'm calling them stupid because I'll probably eat all of them. That's why I don't buy them. This is the best barbecue chicken pizza I've ever had. And meanwhile, it's a frozen brand. And I don't know what it is about these crackers. They're sweet potato crackers and they're just so tasty. Like with hummus, guac, just by themselves. They're so good. One of my favorite dressings, the green goddess dressing. I always have to sneak at least one kombucha in. This is the watermelon flavor. And it's just so refreshing. Also, Trader Joe's has the best candles. I've never seen these ones before. Kind of fun and different um, scents. I'm excited to light one up. We obviously got more things, but I'm just showing you guys some of the things that are like my favorite that I get all the time uh, these if you have a Keurig at home I hate Keurigs um, because I always feel like the coffee is super watered down and it doesn't even give me a caffeine buzz but this says it in the name 
electric buzz coffee cups they're my favorite and I actually taste the coffee and get a buzz from them they're the only Keurig cups that I will use in it in a Keurig um, other than that I only use my French press oh also one last thing cuz I'm really excited um, this is an eggplant hummus I always get the olive one but I thought I would switch it up and try this one, so hopefully it's as good as the olive one. It is day four, I think. I probably said that yesterday, but we'll just go with that. This morning I went for a nice three mile run. I've been trying to reintroduce running into my life now that it's not smack in the middle of winter. It's getting a little bit warmer out. Um, because lately, like the past five, six months, I've been just doing core power, which I absolutely love. I think I've said this before. Core power is my favorite fitness class I've ever done. Specifically, um, they have different level classes, but Sculpt is my favorite. My goal is to work out once a day, whether that is going out for a run if it's nice enough or doing at-home workouts. Core power has great online workouts you do have to pay for them but they're so, I would say they're so worth it one of my favorite ab workouts is on YouTube it's called eight minute abs I think something like that and it's just great because it's only eight minutes but it's super efficient it gets the job done I'm trying to just log all of my workouts that I'm gonna be doing I'm using the Google Calendar on my computer and I've just been logging all the workouts so I can keep track and see my progress at the end of two months or however long it may be but it just keeps me accountable I will link the core power website in this description I will also link um, the little eight-minute ab workout on YouTube if you guys want to check it out I'm super bored waiting for Johnny to come home from work so we can start drinking. I try to postpone drinking until like at least happy hour or until Johnny gets home from work. On that note, I kind of want a glass of wine. What else is there to do? <laughs> Sometimes I like to pour my kombucha into a wine glass because I can. And it makes me feel like I'm drinking alcohol.